Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Jetman becomes a team of two. Air Force borrows an idea from XPRIZE. Surprise! A report says airlines could do better. I'm Brie Cross, it is May 14th, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The world of aviation was astonished when Eve's Jetman Rossi strapped a Delta wing to his back, fired up four jet engines, and proceeded to fly like a bird. His demonstrations of his flying skills and capabilities astonished the world, and it could easily be asked, what's next? The answer to that question is this. A second Jetman has made his debut. Vince Reffitt, a well-known skydiver, has become only the second person to fly using a jet engine-powered carbon fiber wing strapped to his back. Not only has the second Jetman appeared on the scene, Rossi and Ruffett have joined together to produce a fantastic video of twin human formation flight over and around the city of Dubai. Known as Jetman Dubai, the formation of this team not only puts these two inspiring individuals on the international aviation map, but it also begins a new phase for the Emirate of Dubai as it becomes home to these two world-class action sport athletes. Eves and Vince's flights over Dubai will help them further develop the Jetman wing and implement technological changes to advance their dream for human flight. It looks like the U.S. Air Force has borrowed an idea from XPRIZE. Registration is now open for the $2 million Air Force prize that will be awarded to the first entrant to successfully develop a small, lightweight, fuel-efficient turbine engine. The Air Force prize is designed to spark American ingenuity by inviting a wide audience to compete and to encourage innovative solutions to Air Force mission requirements beyond typical acquisition programs. The Air Force is looking for a 100 horsepower turbo shaft engine and must operate on Jet A fuel, demonstrate a brake specific fuel consumption less than or equal to 0.55 pounds of fuel per horsepower per hour, and generate at least 2.0 horsepower per pound. We wish the Air Force all the best in this endeavor, and we look forward to seeing one of these little rascals attached to the front end of a small GA airplane. You know it'll happen. After the break, complaints about airlines are on the rise. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. Airline consumer complaints filed with DOT's Aviation Consumer Protection Division in March 2015 were up 55.1 percent from March 2014 and up 27.2 percent from February 2015, according to the U.S. Department of Transportation's Air Travel Consumer Report released earlier this week. The Consumer Report includes data on tarmac delays, on-time performance, cancellations, chronically delayed flights and the causes of delayed flights filed with the Department's Bureau of Transportation Statistics. In addition, the Consumer Report contains statistics on passengers denied confirmed space, mishandled baggage and disability and discrimination complaints received by DOT's Aviation Consumer Protection Division. The Consumer Report also includes accounts of incidents involving the loss, death, or injury of animals traveling by air. It's a sad commentary to see that an industry as dynamic as the air travel industry can't do a better job of providing good service to their customers 
And it's even sadder that it makes all of aviation look the worse for it. It's Thursday, which means that it is time for an Aero Community Update, highlighting news and information about the incredible people and organizations that populate the Airborne Partnership Initiative behind Airborne Unlimited. This week, we honor the commemorative Air Force, known to all of us as the CAF, which could be called a museum that lives and breathes. The CAF brings a combination of leadership, commitment to the past, and an eye to the future to our team. The CAF got its start when Lloyd Nolan and a small group of ex-service pilots from the Rio Grande Valley in Texas pooled their money to purchase a P-51 Mustang in 1957. They formed a loosely defined organization to share the pleasure and expense of maintaining the Mustang. As other airplanes were added, it was decided to formalize the organization and establish the goal of acquiring, maintaining, and flying the aircraft of World War II for the purpose of preserving a living and breathing image of what occurred in those dark days. The CAF we see today has achieved their purpose and gone on to become an organization that represents the best there is in a membership dedicated to their interest in aviation. After these messages, Bombardier Learjet deliveries are up. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Despite recent bad news from Gamma regarding aircraft deliveries in the first quarter of 2015, there is a bright spot. Bombardier Learjet saw its best year since 2011 in terms of deliveries of new airplanes in first quarter of this year. NASA's Space Launch System program kicked off its critical design review on May 11th. This new rocket will be the most powerful launch vehicle ever built and is designed to be sustainable and evolve to carry crew and cargo on deep space missions. The RCS Engineers Rocketry team from Russellville, Alabama beat out 100 competitors to claim first prize at the national finals of the 2015 Team America Rocketry Challenge. This is the largest rocketry competition in the world. Several countries have grounded their Airbus A400M fleets as a result of an accident late last week involving the military transport plane. The weekend accident also caused the company's stock to fall about 2.1% on Monday. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. More ponies up front will give you a shorter takeoff and quicker climb. And that's what the American Legend Aircraft Company has done by making 180 horsepower available on their Super Legend HP aircraft. American Legend Aircraft Company has announced the availability of a 180 horsepower Titan O340 engine on its Super Legend HP. The company claims the Super Legend HP has a takeoff ground roll of 35 feet and achieves climb in the range of 2,000 feet per minute. They report the Super Legend HP can clear a 50-foot obstacle in 200 feet. The Titan O340 is a stroked derivative of the Lycoming O320. The four-cylinder 340 cubic inch displacement engine weighs 245 pounds dry, which they claim is 20 pounds less than the similarly performing and larger O360. 
The company says the Super Legend HP will amply accommodate two occupants and baggage. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.